The 900 Global Harsh Reality and Exponent Pearl, in addition to Rotogrip's Attention Star, are the next releases from the SBI brands coming your way on February 16th, so I'm here with your release outlook. This is The Forecast. Welcome back everybody, I'm really happy to be able to get back to doing preview videos for new announcements again. Also, additional PSA to get started, SPI staffers aren't allowed to post reviews or put out any kind of original content about new announcements until 21 days before release, so the day that they can start posting reviews is January 27th, so don't bug them about it, that's when you can expect to start seeing video for these balls popping up. Let's start on the global side at the top with the harsh reality. These kind of releases can be fun because they feel like an international release. Uh, usually they have a little more fun and can be uh, more edgy or off the wall with the marketing. Harsh reality sounds a little campy, but that's kind of what makes it work for me. Now I don't trust the rendered photos, and to their credit, what the ball actually ends up looking like is usually better than the stock photos, so here's hoping it looks more like the original rocket and not like the old Ebonite Apex Aggression. The Harsh Features Reserve Blend 902 Solid for the cover stock. It comes out of the box at 2000 grit, and a line from the marketing says it's supposed to be the strongest ball that 900 Global has ever produced. Um, in addition, we're looking at the cover info up on the screen. This says it's similar to the S84 cover from the reality, just beefed up essentially. Those of you that remember the volatility know that those are pretty bold words because I'm pretty sure that's the strongest ball ever released by anyone since USB-C dropped the differential limit down to 060. Uh, the core is once again the disturbance core from the other reality line releases, but this one's getting the AI outer core treatment, making it the first SPI ASIM to have this. It doesn't change the numbers much in any of the weights though. Uh, I've gotten the comparison up here on the screen. AI makes the core marginally stronger, but not enough to really make a difference individually. Uh, collectively, it's a bump, a small bump, but still a bump. The Reality Series has been known for being strong but angular, and it's a usable strength, or what I mean is that you can use them on tougher, heavier patterns with some surface, but you can also throw them with some lane shine and league. This one doesn't sound like it's going to be a league ball, it sounds a lot like something from Rotogrip's Gemline. Super strong core numbers, super strong cover, aggressive box surface, it seems like they're wanting to put out a monster with this release. Now at the same time, on paper it only seems to be marginally stronger than the reality, so it may just shoot the gap between the reality and the gem, we'll have to wait and see. This does put a third solid in the 900 line for Global, as we currently have the Reality and Eternity Pi there already, so I think this is the writing on the wall for the Reality. I'm hearing rumors that it is actually being discontinued with this release, nothing official yet, though again, I'd be surprised if it did stick around. The Harsh doesn't sound like it's going to straight up replace the Reality, it sounds like a stronger cover and AI gives the core numbers a bump, uh, but again, we'll have to wait for ball reaction and some comparisons to get the story. Next we'll stick with Global for the Exponent Pearl. This one will be short and sweet because there are zero surprises here, it's just a Pearl Exponent. The cover is Reserve Blend 702 Pearl, but that doesn't really tell us anything. It's probably just a Pearl version of RB701, but every new cover is going to have a new number that is sequentially ascending. The marketing note for it says that it's engineered to give you extra length on drier conditions, so I'd have to think it's just a Pearl version of the XP Solid cover. And Global 700 line is about equal to Roto's HP2 line, which has the Hypes, uh, Storm's Thunder line, which has the High Roads, and Spectre slash Revenant type of releases. Uh, I know that we haven't had a burner in a while, but those are like the Hustles and the Electrifies, so, uh, and that line is underneath the 700 line, so uh, that info gives us a good idea where this ball should land at. It comes at the Reactagloss box surface, and a note here is that I've been assured that Reactagloss has been fixed. Well, I haven't tested it out recently, uh, one of our new testers, Tobias, that you'll see for all three of these balls, uh, said that he had no issue with the TNT Infused, Journey, or Sublime out of the box, and I've seen them all and they all look good, so while I've been critical of Reactagloss since it came out, and have avoided it like the plague, uh, we're going to film the shiny stuff out of the box now to see what's up. It's got the same Shrapnel 2.0 core, uh, numbers are up on the screen. Another note is that uh, quite frequently 14 pound numbers for SPI balls are quite different from 15 pound numbers, but that's not the case with the Harsh Reality or XP Pearl. The numbers are almost identical from uh, 14 to 16 on both of them. The Exponent Pearl should be really close to the original Daredevil. The colors are extremely similar, numbers are virtually identical, so if you remember that ball and like that idea, that's what it's adding up to on paper. Again, we need to wait for ball reaction to verify, but it's always fun to speculate and see how close your expectations and the reality end up being. 
the big news is that I'm hearing that the original Zen will also be discontinued. There's three shiny balls right now in the 800 line with the Zen, Zen Gold label, and Sublime. This will make yet another shiny ball, albeit weaker. Uh, but the Zen has really fallen off in popularity over the last year. It was supposed to stick around and be Global's anchor in the line, like what Storm has done with the Phase 2 and High Road, but apparently it's just not selling anymore. Again, this isn't confirmed or official, but it makes sense, and that's what I'm expecting to hear. Finally, the biggest surprise of the three is Roto Grip's Attention Star. You might remember that I did a review for the Overseas Attention Black Pearl, which I'm a big fan of. Until now, the Attention line has been overseas only, and there have been several of them. I actually have an Attention S waiting for holes too. Uh, the cover is one we're familiar with. It's E-Trax Plus Pearl, which we saw on the RSTX2, and it also comes at the Reactive Gloss box surface. Clean and responsive, medium strength cover formula, but really controllable at the same time. Uh, the X2 was a popular and very versatile ball, so I'm a big fan of the cover choice, especially with Storm recently discontinuing the Absolute. This will really fill that cleaner, more responsive ASIM slot. The Attention Star also has the AI Outer Cortec in it, and the details go a little sideways. The rest of the Attention releases have the regular Momentous Core in them, which is a 250RG, 053 differential, and an 011 int diff in 15 pounds. The Star is the Momentous AV with AI. The numbers for the Star in 15 are a 248RG, the diff goes down to 049, and the int diff is up to 017. Now the AI core makes the numbers stronger, but the differential drops here from the original Momentous core, and one of the marketing lines said that they adjusted the density to both the block and the slug, or both parts of the core. So for those of you that are already fans of the attention line, the numbers are different, but I'd still expect it to feel like an attention. Ultimately, these numbers are nearly right on top of the numbers for the gem line, uh, but the difference is that the Microtrax cover formula used for the gems is significantly stronger than E-Trax Plus, so while again we need to wait for Ball Reaction to see what it actually does, there's enough history here to tell us that the Attention Star is a definite step to step and a half down from the exotic gem. Pearl ASIM and Pearl ASIM, similar numbers on paper, but this is why cover formulas matter. The Attention Star is going to be much longer, weaker, and sharper than the Exotic Gem, so no worries about overlap there, and again, the Star is in absolute territory. My Attention Black Pearl has a stronger cover, but the general shape on the lane reminds me a ton of the Rubicon UC2. Now with the AI core upgrade and the density adjustments to the, the core itself, this makes the core uh, for the Attention Star on paper stronger than the Rondeur core from the Rubicon series, but I'd imagine it'd still have a similar shape, and E-Trax Pearl from the UC2 and E-Trax Plus Pearl on the Star are virtually the same thing, so it's going to be in a very similar place as the UC2. Now, no word of any more balls hitting the discontinued list. This one doesn't step on any of the toes of what we already have in any of the lines right now, but if I hear something, I'll let you know. Once again, all three of these balls will be released on February 16th, and the day that staffers can start releasing reviews is January 27th. I have links to Bowler's Mart for all of them in the description below if you want to get one or all of them pre-ordered, and I am of course required by the YouTube overlords to mention I do receive a 5% commission for all sales through the links. The Harsh Reality is the only one that I can see overlapping anything else in the SPI brands right now, and that would be the Gem. Uh, the Exponent Pearl doesn't overlap anything else in any one of the lines, and neither does the Attention Star. And once we get to the reviews and see the ball reaction, I'll have ideas on what they could potentially replace, as well as information on exactly where they're going to fit in your bags. Do want to remind you of all the recent releases as well. The Journey is out there, the Sublime, the IQ Tour 78U, and the Absolute Power and Summit Peak are coming soon on January 19th, and none of those overlap any of these balls either. The Power looks close to the Harsh on paper, but the Power has a much cleaner and weaker cover, so if you're interested in any of the balls that I just mentioned, go ahead and pick them up. There's no worries on overlap with the three I talked about in this video. That will wrap up this episode of The Forecast. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm happy to be able to make them again to hopefully give you a preliminary idea of what to expect. We'll see you in the reviews for the same in-depth analysis we always do. Thanks for watching, and may the strikes be with you.